Okay, now in this case, what we're looking at is the uh, one of the blades is angled farther down. If you look closely down here, let me see if I can get close up on that. Okay, now what we've got is one of these fan blades is not placed correctly, it's bent down. Now that could be from improper use of a puller or something uh, like a clamp puller that pulls on these pieces. Now watch right here. See how close that is there? The next blade, see how much farther away it is? And the next blade, they're about right. Okay, I'm going to fire this up and this is fairly obvious what happens. Okay, you can see what's going on. This thing's going to rip itself to shreds. Uh, this is not going to work well. So, you've got a f uh, condenser fan that's making too much noise, it's vibrating, it's maybe broke the uh, sheet metal on the top of the machine, something like that. It may have taken the bearings out of the motor. Uh, you may have tried my little trick with the uh, screws to try to uh, balance it, and it didn't make any difference. So run that by something that is always the same, like this piece right here. Uh, I'm going to fire this thing up again just to give you another shot of it. It doesn't take a lot of distance for that to be out for this to fail. Okay, so that is a fan that is simply all the blades are not even. I'll see if I can bend them back. Okay. I have gone ahead and bent this back. I'm using this screwdriver right here. You can here I've hit right there. Just missed. Just missed. Okay. Hit. This one's going down just a skosh. If I don't screw it up. Okay. That's probably about the best I'm going to get it. Okay, let's see what happens when we fire it up. like we did pretty good. Uh, still not real thrilled about continuing to use a fan that uh, has been tweaked out or out of balance, but uh, that did look like it uh, has worked pretty good. Not too bad.